Hello, good morning, it's Sadil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Monday's trading session, 27th of March 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app on the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, let's get on to the uh, market uh, digestion, market info, where we stand. Okay, Asian markets down overnight on the back of, as we probably have already uh, read on Friday, uh, Mr. Trump's failure. So the reflation trade has gone in, gone into reverse. Reverse is is done a full 360, folks. Okay, on the back of uh, obviously expectations being dashed that Mr. Trump can actually get the job done. The so-called deal maker is now the um, deal failure. So uh, basically, the loss in confidence in Trump's ability to pass this legislation. Now the counter argument to that really is uh, is um, that uh, Mr. Trump. Uh, really is was and uh, uh, not really interested in the healthcare bill. He just wanted to get out, get get it out there, get it all over and done with. Even though he knew it was going to fail, and then obviously get on to to, to tax reform so that he could state that one of his promises was to obviously go ahead and pass the the Obamacare or neutralise and, and negate uh, and uh, basically. Uh, obliterate the Obamacare bill, Obamacare bill uh, and replace it with his own Trump care so-called bill. So again, from my perspective, it may well just be noise. Okay, so be careful. Uh, Friday, the markets didn't really react um, as bearish as they have done today. So the uh, whether, whether that was manipulation, etc., that's a different argument altogether. But given the fact that Friday's markets didn't react much to uh, the, uh, the actual bill failing to pass, um, again, it really is um, something to consider. Now, today's price action will be very, very important. O obviously, overnight, Asian markets are down quite heavily. We have the um, Nikkei down quite substantially, down 270 points. We have the Shanghai more or less flat, though. So, again, uh, just be very cautious and not get too excited on the very side. The European markets so far have shaken off the weakness as well. So, again, that's some, some certainly some food for thought as well. Uh, the French CAC is right almost back at where it started. So, and the German DAX is certainly recovering on the on the back of stronger IFO data as well. Uh, again, just be very careful in terms of uh, overt bearish uh, reaction or bearish, uh, obviously positioning uh, post this uh, failure. Okay, so again, uh, we'll take it as as it is. Uh, the USD JPY certainly coming into support as well now. So one need to ex exercise extreme caution. Okay. Also with regards to a uh, report of OPEC cuts over over the weekend as well, potential extension of that as well will certainly uh, uh, feed the reflation trade and certainly trigger a uh, rally in equities as well. So uh, again, certainly some food for thought. Uh, okay. So Asian market number, or so we say European markets num numbers at present. You have the FTSE at seven to eighty DAX down a hundred points, so zero point eight percent. Uh, the French CAC down 0.3%. So let's see exactly where we are technically now. Okay, the uh, German DAX, let's just go over to the daily chart of the German DAX at the moment. We've certainly flushed or uh, moved lower, certainly gapped lower, folks. Okay, uh, you have this diagonal trend line, so keep an eye on that diagonal trend line. Obviously, you have horizontal support, solid support in this zone at 11.915 as well. 60 minute chart on the German DAX, you've gapped lower. Okay, bullish engulfing candle post the IFO data, certainly beating expectations. So that certainly will add the positive spin on the German DAX. Bear in mind that you do have an unfilled gap above. Okay, so at 12.060, so certainly a high pro strong pro possibility of that gap being closed. So bear that in mind, okay. German DAX certainly seems to be building some sort of base here. Uh, you have support now on the German DAX at 11.930. So watch out for the support at 11.930. If we do flush or move higher on the German DAX, you are looking at 12.010. As a first resistance, and then you're looking at 12.050, and then eventually gap fill at 12.060. Again, a lot of that will depend on how the uh, U.S. markets react at the cash open. Bear in mind, daylight saving time has been adjusted or has has changed now, so uh, U.S. markets will come on board at half past two as usual, as opposed to half past one uh, in the last week. Okay, now in terms of the French CAC, let's just go over to the daily chart here of the French CAC. Again, it's basically. Uh, a trading sideways here, consolidation. You have resistance above at 5050. You have support below at 4960, uh, and then potentially support down at 4930. Okay, 60 minute chart. The French CAC, you are now coming into resistance in this zone here. Previous support equals resistance. So look for risk aversion. This is a trade that I've taken. I am actually short the French CAC at this juncture. Okay, you have gap fill at uh, 5020. Certainly not expecting that. 
Uh, obviously, you have previous support equals resistance in the zone and the fib retracement uh, resistance as well. So, uh, multiple levels of resistance in the at this juncture. Okay, so certainly looking for a move lower on the French CAC. Okay, so that's my trade setup for subscribers and the live analysis service. Okay, daily chart on the FTSE 100 here. You you certainly are holding support at this key 7260 zone. So certainly impressive. Okay. A healthy daily chart, uh, 7260. Now, just giving you a counter argument, bear in mind you have the HNS formation as well. Head, okay, your right shoulder, then obviously looking to flush. So just bear that in mind. Having said that, though, uh, we, as long as we remain below the 7310, the HNS is still on uh, and, and in motion, okay? So just bear that in mind. Just giving you some food for thought uh, or any potential trade setups that you have. Okay, in terms of the FTSE 100 at the moment on the 60 minute chart. We certainly have resistance above at 7350. Obviously, you've got 7310. Okay, so any rally uh, up to 7310 certainly will be a shorting opportunity. Any sell off down to 7260 will be a buying opportunity or even 7240 for me. Okay, in terms of the trade sell. 10 minute chart on the FTSE 100 at the moment. An impressive thrust tide to 7290. Uh, again, a double bottom will certainly be a buying opportunity for me. So 7257, 58. Anywhere down that zone, I'll certainly be a buyer. Okay, looking to short my, or cover my shorts in the French CAC and look to switch along on the uh, on the actual FTSE itself. Uh, any rally from 7260 will be testing 7310, 7350, 7330, and 7350 as well. Okay, so bear that in mind. Okay, last but not least, Euro stocks. Let's see exactly where this is positioned. Uh, the daily chart on the Euro stocks first and foremost, still consolidating, holding up gap level support inside bar. Okay, on the daily chart. Uh, let's go to the 60 minute chart here now inside bar bearish uh, pattern here just bear in mind that there is a uh, hns formation as well folks okay so again this is my uh, one that you need to exercise extreme caution okay uh, again looking to flush here now you have two gaps that remain unfilled above so obviously we'll remain cognizant of that okay and we may wear, be made aware in terms of any potential positioning a 60 minute chart from my perspective at the moment really has this bear flag consolidating within the red candle looking to potentially flush lower now look moving on to the 10 minute chart on the uh, euro stocks again previous support equals resistance now as as is the case with technical analysis okay so looking to flush you have an unfilled gap at 3444 and then an unfilled gap at 3452 again yes stronger ifo data certainly has helped markets short squeeze off the lows but is it sufficient enough for it to uh, sustain its rally? Certainly isn't, given the fact that uh, investors and traders certainly have uh, lost uh, faith in the Trump trade and lost patience in the ability for Trump to uh, pass through on tax reform, given his defeat via the health care bill. So that certainly seems to be the uh, recurring, theme, uh, recurring theme in this marketplace, Okay, especially with Asian markets down overnight. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus score.